Sometimes you watch a movie and you think there's going to be an overlying message for Lisa Frankenstein. I don't know that message. Chase Lee Hockey here at the Blue Futon reviewing Lisa Frankenstein. What's this about? Pretty simple premise. You have want to say this goth girl, but this is a girl that kind of had a shitty past. Something happened to her, but you know what? Bam! A weird storm happens, and what do you know? The guy she was talking to that was dead comes back to life, and now she's starting to, you know, realize, wait a minute, who do I love? What am I going to do? Are we going to murder people? Should we bring you back officially from the dead? What is going to occur in this weird-ass town, this weird-ass family, and this weird-ass high school? So, do you like this film? This is a very middle-of-the-road movie for me that's kind of under average overall. Just some of the characters were annoying for me. The overall stupidity also didn't work for me. And just the overall premise, the set design, it just didn't work. The transitions, the editing, it was just a jumbled mess in my opinion. But there is some comedic moments and solid acting throughout this spectacle. So we're talking about the positives. Like I said, I think the acting overall is the most solid aspect of this. Every single character had fun. Everyone knew their part and what they were supposed to do. I think Cole Spouse, am I saying his cr name correctly? Easiest role ever. Mm. 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 Now, oh my god, if I could make half a million dollars doing that shit, sign me the fuck up because my god, easiest paycheck in the fucking world. So anyway, also some comedic moments. Yes, this pushes... The boundary a little bit for PG-13 sexual humor, especially something with a toy. Then you could call something with something getting cut off, and it pushes the boundaries. I'll put it that way. Uh, so yes, expect some funny stuff to occur, and expect some good acting. But just the overall movie itself, it felt cheap. The editing slash transitions didn't work for me. Just the stupidity of the characters. So let's go from backwards order. Stupidity of the characters. The father character. God dang it, dude. Be a little bit smarter. I just don't understand people that don't like notice their surroundings. There are plenty of moments in this movie where you're like, oh, that's a huge fucking blood stain on the floor. No one's noticing that. Okay. So wait a minute. You were fighting this zombie outside. How the hell did he get in the house on the shoe phone? Don't explain it. Sure. Or the ear. Really? No one's going to notice that? Okay. Whatever. That's a, that's an easy one. That's an easy one whatsoever. Okay. What about just, you know, the the mother's work? Not, you know, calling it in? No. Not, not, that's not happening either? Okay. What's another thing? Oh, and finally, how does the father not notice something at the very end of the movie that says something? I don't want to spoil it, but you're just like, how, how do you not notice that on your daughter's thing? And you're just like, really? No no one's noticing this. And there are plenty of them throughout this movie where you're like, that makes sense. And there's a lot of like sub characters that are just like, there's this really weird, annoying girl that brings nothing to the plot. Even though this girl had something horrific happen to her past, like the dad doesn't feel like nothing happened. Like the dad ignores the shit out of it. You're just thinking there'd be a little bit more trauma. And with that horrific trauma happening, you would think it would just be more like, oh shit, maybe I should be a little bit nicer to this. But the mom doesn't do that. So it's just a weird character decisions overall where you're just like, huh? All right, the editing slash transitions. There's this weird, you know, I would say Coraline black and white paper machete thing they're trying to do with this. Which, yes, I understand doing the transitions to get away from the R-rated sexual humor or sexual stuff that's going to occur. But it just doesn't fit the bill, in my opinion. The intro, sure, but there's something at the very end with the moon, and there's something in the middle of the movie where you're just like, these transitions don't work for me. It doesn't work for me whatsoever, and it just felt really out of place. And finally, the unlikableness of some of these characters in the movie, especially the main girl, the Lisa Frankenstein girl, which you're supposed to try to, like, you know, you know, are you supposed to vote for her? Are you supposed to be on her side? You just never feel like you should be on her side throughout the movie because, you know, you have this sister, stepsister, who's trying to be super nice to her, 
but she's just kind of a dick to her stepsister. Yeah, here and there it's supposed to be like that, but I just never grasped on to any of these characters saying, I want you to do good. I want you to do good. I want you to survive. There was only one. It was his stepsister. Everyone else in the movie, I was just like, eh. If you die, I, I have no connection to you. If you die, oh well. You die, oh well. And you're just like, really? That's what we're going to do? That, that, that's, how, that's how we're going to portray these characters? Okay. Hmm. In the very end, um, what? It, it just doesn't go well with anything the story's saying. It's convoluted. It's spaghetti on the wall. Not a lot of stuff makes sense. And overall, I was just underwhelmed hard for this movie. So overall, Lisa Frankenstein just didn't work for me. Could you say it was made for me? Absolutely not. It probably wasn't. But as a person going to this movie, yes, I had a couple chuckles. Good acting. But the set design, the editing, just the overall premise didn't work for me whatsoever. So Lisa Frankenstein will receive a 2 out of 5 of futons, which equals at 40%. So see the critics news scores gave this one. So no critics and no audience score yet. Of course, that makes sense. It really doesn't come out till Thursday slash Friday. So my 40%, I guessing 48 to 55 for the critics. Chase Liak here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if things Blue Tontopia. You Blue Tony, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I don't care what you say tomorrow, week from now, month from now, year from now. Every single freaking one of you. Have a good life. Don't be Elisa Frankenstein. Or Lisa Swallows. Like, there is this weird humor in this movie where you're just like, it was it intentional? Was it?